Hi, today I'm going to uh, give you a real fast uh, lesson on how to set up your uh, BX tractor for uh, work lights and make them wireless and use the existing system that's actually on the tractor. It's pretty simple. Um, as you can see, this is a, a new BX2370 Kubota. And uh, when you take a look at the uh, schematic, show you the schematic here. What's going to concern us is this area right here. As you see there's three wires that they use to hook up the uh, auxiliary work light uh, option. What they use is this top wire here is a ground. The next one down is uh, a B plus of 20 amp and that'll be in your fuse box and they actually have the fuse in it so you don't even have to open your fuse box to do this. The bottom one down here is the ignition on and if you look what they've done is they took this line off of the DC outlet okay so when the DC outlet comes on when you uh, turn your um, ignition on it supplies 10 amps to this um, uh, outlet. Now what it also does is they have a relay that's available in that kit uh, that actually turns that relay on and switches the 20 amp circuit out of the uh, fuse box on and off to the lights and that's how it basically works. That's the basis behind how it works. What I'm going to show you today is how to actually switch it on and off and a couple other lights with it. Uh, what I have here is a wireless four channel switch. Uh, they're sold on the internet for around $15. You get uh, two remotes. And the way you set it up is if you see this jumper right over here, see if I can get you a better shot here. If you see the jumper, kind of hard to get. But there's a jumper right here. What you want to do is you want to have it so that it's on the first two pins. There's three pins. And what you want to do is put it on the first two pins. Okay? And what that does is it toggles the uh, button so that when you hit A, you hit it once, you turn your lights on, you hit them twice, and you turn them off. And how I'm going to mount this is I'm just going to have this mounted right on the by the key switch here. Okay? So you'll be able to turn your lights on and off right here without adding any uh, holes or anything in your uh, in your dashboard here and have uh, silly looking switches hanging off. All you have to do is just have your little wireless button and you turn them on and off. And where you grab the power is in the rear of the tractor right here and as you can see there's three wires the three wires I mentioned you these are terminated at the rear of the tractor at this location and you'll see it'll just have some black tape around it just get into the black tape and these are folded up under it and you're going to end up with a um, with a uh, a red uh, blue and um, uh, a red black and a black which is ground. If you notice I have my test light hooked up to the ground and if you go over to the heavy wire which is the black red and you put it in here as you can see it lights up so it's hot all the time so this this B plus here is hot all the time this one here is hooked to the ignition switch and if I turn the ignition switch that one will come on and how I'm going to have that set up is that will turn on, the ignition will turn on the wireless switch. Okay, and the radio receiver, basically. And uh, the power will come in to the first channel. This is ground. This is the B plus going in. And this will be the B plus, this is going to be the ignition. This will be the B plus coming from uh, that heavy uh, red and black, the 20 amp 
uh, fused um, uh, B+. Plus. And then it'll be jumpered between the first and second relay. There's four relays in here. And you go to the center tap. So you have normally uh, open or normally on. Uh, that's your B+. Plus, and then that's your normally closed. So that when you activate the transmitter and the receiver receives that code, it turns this channel on and it toggles it. Uh, between on and off. So you hit A, it comes on, B, it goes off. And then it'll be a jumper going to the second one because what I'm going to have set up is the front lights are going to be on A and the rear light going back is going to be on B and it will be toggled on and off. So that's how it's going to work. These are nothing more than Harbor Freight's $6 lights on here and I made a couple brackets as you can see. And that's really it. What's nice about it is that when you take a look at these lights, they're all rubber, so they're, they're really there's nothing to damage. It's an H3. Um, it actually has glass up here. I, I think it's either glass or poly, polycarbonate. Um, to me, it feels like glass. Um, you can pay $6. I, with the 25 off, I paid 6 bucks for these. Um, if you want to buy the same ones and you feel like you have to spend more money, um, you can do that. They have them at Farm and Fleet. They have them at uh, Northern. Um, they're exactly the same lights. They're in the same packaging, and you can pay $19 or $20 each for them. It's up to you, whatever makes you feel better. If you don't like to go into Harbor Freight, you don't like the way the place smells inside, um, go over to another place and pay $20 for them. Pay three times more. It's up to you. Uh, real simple little brackets. Um, I'm going to have one light that's going to be pointed back, but that's going to come off the uh, the back here and be shining back. So um, it's only going to be one light back there. Um, what I did too is I'm going to end up putting a relay on here. So there's going to be two external relays um, that the wireless switch will run. And that's uh, because it's a little bit higher. Uh, the rear light, um, H3 lights... Uh, take about four and a half amps. So with that 20 amp fuse in there, I have enough to have four. So three lights will be fine on that 20 amp circuit. But really those uh, relays are only good for 10 amps each. And I'm going to be putting about 13, 14 amps. So I'm uh, opting to put uh, uh, one relay uh, in there for the, uh, the lights shining forward and then no relay on the one shining back because that's only going to be about 4 amps and those will hold 10 amps. Just to give you an idea, I'll show you how much. If you take a look, that's the amps. I have one light hooked up as you can see. It's the jumper cables going up to the light. I'll turn this on and at 13.6 volts, um, that's where we're at here, that's 13.6 and you can take a look, we have four and a half amps okay so that gives you uh, an idea of what the lights will take you can see the light is on plenty bright um, and there you have it um, I have another video posted when I get everything up and running but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, right up front okay